When different methods of contraception are compared with each other, a variety of factors need to be considered. For example, different contraception methods have different levels of effectiveness. They also have different side effects. Certain barrier methods, such as condoms, protect against STIs or sexually transmitted infections. And another important thing to consider would be personal circumstances. The cost of contraceptives could be a factor, although thankfully in the UK, most contraceptives are free. Other circumstances could include religious beliefs or other personal factors. For example, how easy it is for someone to remember to take a pill every day. Because of all of these factors, the choice of contraception is a question that cannot be answered by science alone. So how do we evaluate the effectiveness of different methods of contraception? We can use data to evaluate contraceptive methods. For example, we can look at the percentage of unintended pregnancies in the first year of use for a variety of non-hormonal methods of contraception. Unintended pregnancies mean accidental pregnancies. This perfect use column refers to when people use the contraception perfectly, as stated. However, even when users follow all instructions for use perfectly, things can still go wrong. No method is 100% effective. So the methods of contraception that we're going to look at are male condoms, female condoms, diaphragms and ovulation tracking. Remember that ovulation tracking involves not having intercourse when an egg may be in the oviduct. So what do these numbers tell us? Let's start with this value just here. So by using ovulation tracking, there was 1% of unintended pregnancies in the first year of use. Therefore, 1 out of 100 people were pregnant within the first year of use. So then, just 1% of people that used ovulation tracking perfectly had an unintended pregnancy in the first year of use. However, with typical use, there was 24% of unintended pregnancies in the first year of use. This means that 24 out of 100 people were pregnant within the first year of using ovulation tracking. So from this data, we can deduce that although ovulation tracking is the most effective when used perfectly, when we look at typical use, male condoms are more effective. You can see that with male condom typical use, there was only 18% of unintended pregnancies in the first year of use, compared to 24% for ovulation tracking. 18% is the lowest percentage in the typical use column. We can use qualitative information to evaluate contraceptive methods. Remember that qualitative data is language-based and descriptive, compared to quantitative, which is numbers-based. So here in this table, we can compare the pros and cons of the oral contraceptives and the contraceptive implants. So a pro for both is that they can reduce heavy periods. A pro of the oral contraceptives is that they reduce your risk of cancer of the ovaries, womb and colon, and can also reduce acne. Some pros of the contraceptive implants is that they are an option for those that can't use oestrogen-based contraception, and they work for three years. Now let's have a look at the cons. So a shared drawback of both of these methods is possible headaches, nausea, breast tenderness and mood changes. A con of the oral contraceptives is that spotting is common between periods. This means experiencing bleeding when you shouldn't be. Oral contraceptives can also increase blood pressure. Now, some drawbacks of the contraceptive implants. These require a procedure to get fitted and removed and can also cause acne. Against popular belief, there's no evidence that the pill, i.e. an oral contraceptive, will make you gain weight. Don't worry about memorising these pros and cons, but you could be given similar information to evaluate in an exam question. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!